Hey guys, so I finally decided to upgrade my AirPods 2nd gen. Um, I've got the AirPod Pros and I bought them off Amazon. So the box basically shows pretty much the standard stuff that you see on Apple products. You've got the product itself on the front and on the sides you've got the Apple logo, the name of the product, the serial number and at the back you just see some more information. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. And if we just get this lid off. Yeah, it's quite tight. <laughs> cool, so the first thing you see is this little packaging. It's got a bit of paperwork, the kind of stuff that you don't really read. I mean, it's probably just the warranty stuff and things like that. So nothing I want to look at. So let's just put that to a side. And you can see the AirPods Pro case. The case is much wider than the one that I'm used to with the, the case for the AirPods 2nd gen. So it's something I'll need to get used to. But also just the AirPods themselves, they're pretty small. At first, to be honest, I wasn't too keen on how small they were, even though that's kind of weird, I guess, because I think a lot of people didn't like the AirPods because they stuck out too much or they were just too obvious. Um, but maybe it was because I was used to them. Anyway, the AirPod Pros are much smaller. I'm definitely going to have to get used to them. I think even just holding them feels pretty weird. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely get used to them, I'm sure. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to start using them and testing them out. But anyway, so putting them aside, you've got a set of air, spare air tips. So you've got small and large. So I guess the ones that are on there already are the mediums. So we'll do an air fit test later on and just see which ones suit. So the box also comes with the USB-C to lightning cable for charging the actual case. It's wireless compatible too though, so that's ideal. But the cable's there if you need it. Or if I need it and that's basically it that's all you get so let's set it up just open the lid and boom so it just kind of introduces you to the controls and what they do so we can just skip this definitely don't want it to announce any messages or calls and you can then see the battery levels on the AirPods themselves and the case. So if we go into the Bluetooth menu, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the name. I kind of go with the whole not your theme. I've got not your I've got not your phone, not your watch, and now not your AirPods. So yeah. So just below the name settings, you can actually turn on or off the noise cancellation. You've also got transparency mode, which is basically they're kind of the main features of the Pro model. I guess that's why it's the Pro. Very much looking forward to testing those out. But first, let's do an air tip test just to make sure that I get good seal from them. And okay. there's my niece trying to take them as I'm filming. <laughs> so let me just put them in. And let's test them out. Cool, so you can see that both left and right are giving me a good seal. So these medium ones seem to be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna be sticking to those. And just below those, you've got a couple more settings on automatic air detection, the microphone, whether you want the battery charging optimised. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of the noise cancellation and the transparency modes, you can change them from the settings I just showed you. You can also change them here. And alternatively, or the quickest way to do it is just by pressing on the AirPod Pros themselves. And there we go, the unboxing of the AirPods Pro done. I have to say though, my first impression of the AirPod Pros, like oh, wow, the transparency mode and noise cancellation modes are just phenomenal. Like the difference is just, it, it's just insane. Like how is technology this amazing? It's so cool. It's almost like when you go into noise cancellation, it completely blocks out everything. It's almost like you go into your own complete world and there's literally no sound coming in whatsoever. And then you switch to transparency mode and all of a sudden you're like, back in the back to reality it's kind of weird but also very very cool so yeah i'm looking forward to using them and yeah thanks guys for watching